The paraventricular nucleus also secretes corticotropin-releasing hormone and thyrotropin-releasing hormone, so it's regulating the anterior pituitary's production of ACTH and TSH. The middle of the hypothalamus is sometimes called the tuberal hypothalamus because it's adjacent to the tuber scenarium, which is a little hollow funnel that leads down into the pituitary stalk. But anyway, the next four nuclei are all located in the tuberal hypothalamus. The arcuate nucleus has a bunch of functions. It secretes growth hormone releasing hormone, which again is a releasing hormone that regulates the anterior pituitary. It secretes dopamine, which regulates the anterior pituitary by inhibiting the release of certain pituitary hormones like prolactin. The arcuate nucleus is also involved in making sure that gonadotropin releasing hormone is released in a pulsatile manner, which is important for normal ovulation. So both the preoptic nucleus and the arcuate nucleus are involved in GnRH secretion. And then the arcuate nucleus also helps to regulate the appetite, which is sort of a common theme of all of these tuberal nuclei.